For more than a century, the World Glacier Monitoring Service and its predecessor organizations have been collecting data on glacier fluctuations worldwide. The worldwide collection of glacier data was initiated in 1894 in Switzerland. It was hoped that long-term glacier observations would give insight into processes of climatic change, such as the formation of ice ages. Since then, the goals of international glacier monitoring have evolved and multiplied. Today we are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the World Glacier Monitoring Service. It was created in 1986. So the main achievements over the past decades were first of all to ensure a long-term funding. So we get a core funding now from the Swiss government through Meteo Swiss and we host it at the, on the long term at the University of Zurich. Then we managed actually to maintain an international network of collaborators. We have national correspondents in more than 35 countries and more than 1,000 observers that deliver the data to us. We have managed to compile an unprecedented data set on glacier changes and distribution. The World Glacier Monitoring Service collects standardized observations on changes in mass, volume, area and length of glaciers with time, so-called glacier fluctuations as well as statistical information on the distribution of glaciers around the globe. Such glacier fluctuation and inventory data are high priority key variables in climate system monitoring. They form a basis for impact assessments and for hydrological modeling with respect to atmospheric warming and provide fundamental information in glaciology glacial geomorphology and quaternary geology. Glacier monitoring at the worldwide scale relies on national activities. So the World Glacier Monitoring cannot go itself to all glaciers in the world and collect the data, but the World Glacier Monitoring serves as data collector. So we, the national authorities, we collect this data and then we submit them to the WGMS. And this is very important because only in this way it is uh, secured that these data are stored for a long time, that these data come together from all countries in the world and are therefore useful for large-scale studies. Glaciers are among the key indicators in the climate system. This is the reason why internationally coordinated glacier observations have become an important part of global climate observation on behalf of the United Nations and the International Council of Science at a very high political level. The important point in this monitoring strategy is that it bridges the gap between very detailed measurements at individual glaciers for process understanding and model development with global coverage of all glaciers on Earth via satellite observations. And these results also help to anticipate a world with much less ice and different living conditions than we have experienced in the past. For example, Rhone Glacier is the glacier where monitoring activity started in the late 19th century already. So a team of people went there and they acquired a comprehensive collection of glaciological data, including surface velocities, glacier melt, but also they mapped the glacier surface very accurately. So in Switzerland, we have by far the longest uh, monitoring data, and this makes them extremely valuable to continue these series because they allow us to go back far in time to really understand how climate affected the glaciers. The Federal Council in 2008 uh, decided to secure uh, the long-term continuation of the most important uh, climate measurement series and also data centers in Switzerland, one of which is the World Glacier Monitoring Service uh, hosted here at the University of Zurich. And with this decision, the sustained operation of the WGMS became a priority 
of the Swiss government. So GCOS stands for the Global Climate Observing System. It's a system which is co-sponsored by United Nations agencies. There is an international United Nations effort that the uh, pleasure monitoring system is very much linked to it and that all of your work is being noticed, assessed and reported to higher levels. Glaciers today um, are recognized as being of critical uh, societal relevance and glaciers represent a dwindling resource of water. This affects billions of people, particularly in Southeast Asia. And so the satellite perspective on how glaciers are changing the world over is a unique resource which can be fed into the World Glacier Monitoring uh, Services activities to provide a unique uh, data set which will span uh, periods of decades. A vision would be to have projects of value within and beyond glaciology, a community that is willing to contribute data. For instance, when we are out there measuring the states that we are willing to to do that extra effort to send the big data and secure the long-term funding for stewardship, access and accommodation of future, future needs. A rich, highly visible and user-friendly of support. As a national correspondent, there are two primary challenges. The first is just encouraging data submission from organizations that have to date not participated. The second reason is simply they don't understand the value of submitting or they don't understand the process. I encourage them to just send me what they have and I'll convert it to what would be usable for the World Glacier Monitoring Service. The perception of the glacier changes have changed dramatically. Originally, the glaciers were a symbol of an intact relation between human beings and the environment. And today, many people recognize glaciers as a key indicator of a heavily disturbed global environment. The main challenge is to maintain and extend the in situ network. We need glaciers with more than 30 years of observations and it's really challenging to get the funding for that part. Secondly, we have many opportunities with satellite data and or airborne uh, sensors to actually monitor glaciers from space and, and from the air. And finally, it is uh, our glaciers are melting away, so we're just about to lose very important glaciers with long-term measurement series. Um, for example, Carrizer in the Italian Alps is just disintegrating, falling apart into many ice patches. And we are also about to lose a Lewis Glacier on Mount Kenya. So our object of interest and measurement is just about to melt away. Mm -hmm.